Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 while you're standing let's do it together you're going to be announcing and repeating what your father has said to you this morning Galatians 2 verse 20 we do it together declare it like it's your present reality because it's the key for this year say it with let's say let's do it together I have been crucified with Christ no no we, we read it together I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me I'll ask us to read it again so those of us that were still looking read it now like you understand you're talking about you Say, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Welcome to two or three persons and say, welcome to GFCC. This is the assembly of the fearless. Said, Welcome to GFCC. This is the assembly of the fearless. Say to another person, This year I am launching out fearlessly. Say to five people, This year I am launching out fearlessly. Say, This year I'm launching out fearlessly. This year, I am launching out fearlessly. That's what your father asked me to come and tell you. And above, the old you is dead. The fearful you is dead. The victim-minded you is dead. The ill-advised you is dead. The you that hesitates is dead. The you that begins but never finishes is dead. The you that doubts yourself is dead. Who now lives in your place? Christ lives in you. The defeated you is dead. The lazy, easily, easily distracted you is dead. The unserious, unfocused you is dead. The substance addicted you is dead. The gambling addicted you is dead. Your father says your old identity is gone. Your old self is dead. Whatever you had known yourself to be, whatever constituted your old self, whatever it is you were known for that has kept you weak, kept you small, kept you insignificant, kept you limited, that's you is dead this you has Christ living on the inside and if you have Christ on the inside of you is there anything you cannot do is there anything you cannot achieve is there any reason you should still be small is there any reason you should still hesitate is there any reason you should still think as a victim is there any reason you should still behave like the world is against you you have Christ on your inside and Christ in you means power in you. Christ in you means excellence in you. Christ in you means joy in you. Christ in you means health in you. Christ in you means life in you. It means direction in you. It means wisdom in you. And just in case you are still standing here and feeling, I don't have what it takes to succeed. I don't have what it takes to jump out. I don't have what it takes to launch out. I don't have what it takes to walk this walk fearlessly. Know that the Christ that is in you carries with you the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So you have all the wisdom, all the knowledge, all the understanding, all the insights you need to launch out fearlessly. For you see, overflow belongs to the fearless. Victory belongs to the fearless. Impact belongs to the fearless. And today your father asked me to come and tell you, launch out fearlessly. 
So tell another person, I am launching out fearlessly. Say this year, I am launching out fearlessly. No holding back. No hesitating. No sitting on the fence. No second guessing. I am not giving in to self-doubt. I refuse to submit to limiting and familiar patterns. I am courageously stepping into my God-given assignment. My success is guaranteed because Christ lives in me. It is no longer I who lives. Jesus now lives in me. I am dead to familiar and unfamiliar weaknesses. I am dead to what keeps men small, weak and insignificant. Limitlessness lives in me. Strength flows from me. Christ has dispensed his life into mine. I am flowing, overflowing known and unknown boundaries. Jesus Christ lives in me. Akayabas. I am no longer hopeless. Defeated. Or cast down. I have been infused with power. To conquer every difficulty. I am no longer dependent on my strengths. I lose sight of the known. And I embrace the unknown. Christ lives in me. He will get me to do what God wants me to do this year. I am now one with Christ. What is not found in Christ is not found in me. What does not find expression in Christ finds no expression in me. I have been crucified with Christ. My ego is no longer central. I choose to forsake the familiar and live boldly. The grip of fear has no hold on me. The grip of shame has nothing on me. I am launching out fearlessly. Christ Jesus lives in me. Open your mouth and begin to declare what Christ in you means. Say, Christ in me means direction. I am not confused. Christ in me means wisdom. I know what to do, when to do, how to do it. Christ in me means life. I cannot die. Christ in me means excellence. I manifest the excellence of God. Christ in me means life. I am overflowing in life. It means health. It means Christ in me means comfort. I am comforted. And I am a comfort to those around me. Nabakaya Bosu Bradekan.